Okay, now we're going to add some more useful data to our repeater. As you saw earlier, we could double click and edit the values in the cells. We can also do many typical spreadsheet functions from here. But now we're going to learn the secret of copying and pasting data from a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet open here. You will find in your code pack a CSV file called acmemedia.csv. You need to open this CSV in a spreadsheet program like Excel, for example, where you can copy this data. I'm doing so in this web-based program you can see here. and select the cells, right click and copy. Back to Axure and the repeater data set tab. Okay, so you might think we could right click to the cell to paste, but there's no option to paste there. It's a bit of a secret one, this one, but if we do a control plus V, the keyboard paste command, with the top left cell highlighted, it pastes our data in for us. A really handy tip that one. I'm informed it also works for table widgets too. Thanks Svetlin for your help on this project. Okay let's go see the media list widget canvas to see how it renders. Okay so we can see that only the first column in our data set loaded. Why is that? Back to the repeater. Only the first column is being loaded because we only have this one unnamed widget on the repeater canvas that is repeating our column zero data. Let's start naming columns and widgets and hopefully this will all start falling into place. First, let's add some names to the columns in the data set. These are some generic names to match the generic data set we have here. Okay, let's have a peek at the repeater interactions because it will have done something automatically for us. Before this case read item.column0. Now it reads item.name. Axure has very helpfully updated this action with the new name we have given the column. I'm just going to do some positioning of this shape. And if we rename the shape on the repeater canvas now, so it is more appropriate, it will update the case. But it needs a bit of a prompt. If we click away from the interactions tab and back again, there, Axia has updated the name of the shape in the case. So now the case is starting to make more sense when we read it. Set the text on name shape to item.name. Now we will create some other shapes to display the values we have loaded into the data set. We're going to drag out a new rectangle shape alongside the product name shape and resize it. Let's name it now, source. Rinse and repeat. This is the item description. We'll add an image widget for our image and name it appropriately. And a last rectangle shape for the price column.
we'll call it price. Okay, so we've got widgets being rendered in our media list canvas, but they're all blank apart from the first one, which the default case is set up to handle. We now need to add some more actions to assign the values from our dataset to the widgets we just created in the repeater edit canvas. This should be fairly easy because we can duplicate the action in the default case that we can see populating the product name. Let's go into the item interactions tab and add some cases for this in the next video.